how much can I start a snake farming business? This is a recurring question that intended snake farmer always asks. What will it cost me to start a snake farming business? They want to know the cost implication, they want to know the cost analysis so that they will be able to plan well, so that they will not end up starting what they cannot actually finish. So they tend to know what actually it will cost them to start a snare farming business. And in this video, if you watch this video to the end, I'm going to show you and tell you what and what is required, what determines how much it can cost you to construct or to start a profitable snare farming business. And that is not all. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you the gift that I have for each and every one of you that are actually watching this video. But before we start, I want to know, please, if this is the first time of visiting my channel, if this is the first time of visiting Cousins in the Farm channel, please, I want you to do us a favor by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and smash on the bell notification icon so that whenever I release an awesome video such as this, you are going to be among the first set of persons that YouTube will notify. And also, do well to like this video. Do well to like this video, share this video so that it will help the video to rank in YouTube. So, Going further to talk about how much it can actually cost you to start a snail farming business. And I will always tell my students, I will always tell my students, people I do mentor, that there is no particular amount of money that it can actually cost you or that you can actually use to start a snail farming business. As a matter of fact, you can use 10,000, you can use 20,000, you can use 100,000, you can use 1 million. It all depends on some factors. And that, those factors are what I'm actually going to share with you here so that you will see it, see them, and know that these are the factors that determine how much to actually cost you to start a profitable snake family business. So, having said that, we are going to look at the factors that determine the cost of starting a snake family business. So, look at them. factors. So, this is actually what we are going to look at those factors that determines the cost estimation, the cost analysis of you starting a snare family business. And the first determinant that we need to know what it takes you to start a snare family business is actually what I call number one, the So the size of the snare farm you want to start. This will determine what it will take you. That's a determining factor to know what it actually going to take you to start a snare farming business. The size of the snare farm. For example, if I want to start a snare farming business and the size of the snare farm I want to start is, for example, let's say I want to start a, a 500 capacity snare farm. The cost of constructing that 500 capacity snare farm will not be the same as the cost of constructing 100 capacity snare farm. So the size of the farm will determine how much you will allocate to this man. So if you are going for a smaller farm, then it will tell you, okay, I'm allocating less than 20,000 naira to construct the farm itself. But if you are actually going for a bigger farm, that will also determine how much you will allocate, allocate in the size of the farm we are talking about. So the size of the farm is the number one determining factor that will let you know okay, this is the amount I'm supposed to allocate or this is the amount I'm expected to um, spend in the construction of my farm. So when we must have determined the size of the farm we want to construct, they will not give you an idea or I'll say okay, this size of the farm will cost me 20,000 naira. Then you will not add other cost implications, which we are going to see below. So, having said that, the number two factors that we are going to look at 
is actually the type of snare pen you want to transport, which is number two, would be the type of snare, snare pen. So the type of snare pen you want to construct, you also determine will be added to the cost of the size of the fan. What do I mean by the type of snare pen you want to construct? We have different types of snare pen. And what I mean by snare pen is actually the house. The house of the pen for those of us that don't really understand what I mean by snare pen. Snare pen is actually the name of what the house, where the pen, where the snare is the stay. So we have a lot of them. We have different types of snare pen, ranging from block pen, which is the concrete pen, we have the free range pen, we have the green house, which is also the free range, then we have the wood pen. So all these ones I have mentioned are different types of snare pen. So the one that you are actually looking at using to start a snare pen will also determine how much it will cost you. For example, if I want to use, I'm starting a snare farming business and I'm using a um, green house, I'm constructing a green house for my snare, for my, as my pen, is actually going to cost. The cost implication will not be the same as the cost implication if I'm constructing a block pen or a concrete pen, whichever one you call it. And also, if I want to construct a concrete pen, the cost implication will not be the same when I'm constructing a wooden pen. So, for example, if I'm constructing a greenhouse, I want to use greenhouse for my snare farming business, probably because I'm going commercial, I'm going bigger. So, I wouldn't want to use um, let's say concrete for some reason personal to me. So, I decided to use greenhouse. Greenhouse is very expensive. It's an intensive snare farming system and it's very expensive. So, if actually I'm, for example, if I'm actually I'm going to spend, let's say, 100, 100,000 naira in the construction of my greenhouse, that will be very, very um, higher than this. It can also be lower depending on the size of the farm you want to construct. That will also determine the amount you allocate in this net pen. So if I'm as constructing a greenhouse and, and it's made to use 100,000 naira in construction of the greenhouse pen, that will make you now to know that, okay, this plus this plus other factors will give you the total amount that you are estimated to use. But if, for adventure, I don't want to use greenhouse and I want to use a concrete pen, and it's the same size of snare pen that I want to construct, the cost of constructing the greenhouse in the same size of this pen is 100. Now, if I'm using a concrete pen, which is block pen, you might end up spending, let's say, maybe 50,000 naira. So, are you seeing this now that this also determines how much you will spend in corn or in starting when starting your snare farm business? Remember, what we are looking at is that we are constructing the same size of snare pen, let's say a 200 capacity snare pen. But if we are to go for greenhouse, greenhouse will cost you, let's say, greenhouse will cost you 100,000 naira. But if you are to go for block pen, block pen will actually cost you 50,000 naira. So that will determine and that will give you an idea of saying, okay, okay, let me go for this based on how much I have. Or let me go for this one based on what I want or what I actually want to achieve. So this is the second determinant of how much or the cost estimation of starting a snare farming business. Now we'll look at the last one, which is the third one, and which will be the last one I'm actually going to explain. And by the end of that, we now make an um, addition of what actually it was on them. I will now give you what the gift I promise. So keep on watching this video. And please, if you are finding this video very helpful, if this video is very interesting and spread to the point, please do well to like this video, like this video, share this video. And also, if you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please do well to subscribe. So the third determinant I'm talking about is
has to do with the number of nerves we are starting with. Yes, this also has its own role to play. If I'm starting a small farm business and I'm looking at starting with two, let's say, 200 pieces of cement, the amount I'm going to spend to purchase these 200 pieces of cement, point of lay, P O L, which is point of lay, will not be the same as P. So the amount I'm going to spend to purchase these 200 pieces of point of lay can never be the same amount I'm going to spend, let's say, if I'm going for, let's say, 500 pieces of uh, P O L, which is point of lay. So I see it now. So this also has its own to play. If each snare costs, let's say, 300 or 250 or 200, naira, depending on where you are buying from and where you are getting your snares, and you multiply it by this, you will see that the amount it will give you will not be the same amount it will give you for this number. So the number of snares you reach to start will let you know the amount you will allocate on the purchase your students. Are you getting it now? And so this is actually the three determinant factors that will let you know the cost of what starting a snare farm business. These are the main major things you are going to put into consideration. And once you are able to know how much you allocate to the size of snare farm, which is the capacity of the farm. Once you know the capacity of the farm you want to construct, it will help you to know how much you allocate, allocate to it. If you want to construct a big capacity snare farm, that will let you know how much you allocate to that. If you want to construct a smaller, that means the money will also be reduced. Then, in the second one, which is the type of snare farm, just as I have explained, if you are constructing a greenhouse, this is what? Greenhouse farm. And the cost is 100,000 naira. And if you have to construct a block, then this is what? Block, pen. And it will cost you 550,000 naira in the same capacity, in the same size of the pen. So if I decide to go with block pen, you see that the amount I will actually project for this will be low and it will be smaller than what I will project if I'm constructing the rehearse. Then the last one was as I explained, number of snares also determines. The amount you will buy 100 pieces of snare can never be the amount you will buy 500 pieces of snare, depending on the number you want to start it. So these are the things you look at and break it down and now put it into consideration of how much actually going to cost you. By the time you know this, you will add everything that it costs you on this, add everything that it costs you on this. All you want to, to do is total this plus this plus what you are going for. If it's this or this, you add it up, add this one. That will give you the total total amount of money you are going to spend in starting your snare farm. So this is it and then thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Now for the gift. I said I actually promise you I have done an estimation, a cost, a thought cost analysis of actually what it will cost you. This is what I do when I'm being consulted to come and construct a snare farm business. And based on my experience in this business, I have been able to put on a thought cost analysis of whatever is going to cost you. Whatever you are going to spend, right from the purchase of your snare, the number of blocks you are going to construct, if you are using block pen or concrete pen, the number of wood that you are going to use, the quantity of nets that you are going to use, the quantity of both the iron net you are going to use, everything you are going to do, do a cost estimation based on the previous experience the snare farm I have been constructing. So I'm able to put up this in a way that you understand this better which is not a big though, it's just a written format. So I'm going to drop the link where you can download the, uh, the documents. I'm going to drop the link on the description of this video. So you click the link, you can also take maybe 
with um, above these videos, it, the link might also be there. But if you don't see it, go to the description of this video, you will see a link. Click on that link to take you to where you download the document of where I have prepared a post analysis, a trolling post analysis of smart family business. Everything that you need to know, how much you need to spend, both the name you buy, the net, the blocks, the wood, everything. I put the amount based on how much I've been buying and the current price of things in the market. So when you download it, you can go through it, you can read it, go through it. Even with this, you can give to whosoever that is constructed. Say this is what I want, this is the amount you are going to. So you will not know how much you can spend. And I did it using a particular capacity snare farm. So I use I made an estimation of a particular capacity. So all you just need is to download it, look at it. If the capacity I use is higher than what you want to use, you can now do your divide. You divide it by the capacity you are using. But if the capacity I use is lower than the one you are going to use or the one you want to use, what do you need to do? All you just need to do is to multiply it by the size of the farm you want to construct. The document is very well detailed. Detailed explanation and the amount and everything you need to know, everything you can spend in constructing your farm is what I put in that document. So do well to get it in the description of this video. If you have put the link, you can also see it anywhere above this video. Click on it, download it, have it as your own document that you can always visit to know what and what that is needed or how much you can take you to get the snare fine piece that constructed. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to also subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Thank you once again. See you in our next video.